County Department of Public Health. Today I will be teaching you how to make mango salsa. Mango is a great summer fruit and it can be found in many of your local grocery stores around Phoenix, Arizona. This mango salsa can be made for just under $3. This particular recipe makes four servings and each serving is half a cup. I chose this recipe because mango is one of my favorite fruits and also as a child my grandmother would cut us up mango as a favorite summer snack. First we will start off by actually washing our hands. Always want to think about food safety. To make our mango salsa, the ingredients we will need will be one fresh mango, half a small red onion, one tablespoon of fresh cilantro, one tablespoon of fresh lime juice, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Materials to make your mango salsa include a cutting board, a mixing bowl, a sharp knife, a spoon for mixing, and one fourth teaspoon. Before we begin chopping, we want to make sure that all of our ingredients are rinsed thoroughly. We want to use a ripe mango, so to test this, squeeze the mango, and if it gives slightly, it is good to go. First, we'll begin by chopping our mango. Use your knife to cut the mango in half around the large pit. Some fun facts about mangoes, so they are actually the national fruit of the Philippines and the Philippines is currently holding the record for the world's biggest mango. Now use your knife to cut a crisscross pattern through the fruit, but not the skin. As a child, I have always found opening mangoes to be such a messy task, but since I have been using this technique, I have found it does minimize the mess. Aside from being a really delicious fruit, mangoes can be such a great source of vitamin C. Vitamin C is important for growth and repair of tissues, and it also promotes wound healing. Here comes the fun part. Press the skin of the mango so the cubes pop out. Use your knife to cut the cubes off of the mango. Although we usually throw the peels of mangoes away, they also contain vitamins and minerals, polyphenols, carotenoids, and plant fibers. We can utilize them as organic fertilizer for plants in the summertime. After you've cut out all your mango cubes, use your knife to chop into smaller cubes as desired. Place your mango dices into a clean bowl. Next, we will be chopping our red onion. Onions can sometimes be challenging to chop, but I find it best to begin by chopping the onion in half first. For our mango salsa recipe, we will only be using half of a red onion. Cutting an onion can be quite challenging, but I do have an easy technique for you. Peel off the onion skid first. Using a sharp knife and keeping the stem on will actually prevent those tears that we know so well from onions. Begin slicing the onion, starting at the base of the stem. After you are done slicing, turn the onion to the side where you can begin slicing dices. Red onions are loaded with antioxidants. Those antioxidants are actually responsible for the color that red onions have. Antioxidants help protect your cells against free radicals, which may play a role in preventing heart disease, cancer, and other diseases. Place your chopped onion in the same mixing bowl that you placed your diced mangoes. The next ingredient is lime. A technique that I learned from my grandmother is to squeeze the lime between your palm and a flat surface. This makes the lime juicy. Slice the lime in half and begin squeezing your lime juice into your mixing bowl with your other ingredients. This recipe calls for one tablespoon of lime juice, which is equivalent to one whole lime. Next, we will be chopping our cilantro. The recipe calls for one tablespoon of fresh cilantro. I used about one-fourth of the one cilantro bunch that I had for this recipe to equal about one tablespoon. For those of you who do not like cilantro, a good substitute in this recipe would be mint. It will still add that bright, refreshing flavor. Add the cilantro to your mixing bowl. The last ingredient is salt. I know there are many different types of salt, but this recipe I am using table salt. I added one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I have tried this recipe without salt, and in my opinion, it is just as delicious. Cilantro and lime act as flavor boosters in this recipe, so feel free to omit salt or use an alternative. Mix all of your fresh ingredients in your mixing bowl. Your mango salsa is complete. 
Mango salsa is very versatile, so feel free to serve with chips, eat with fish, or use as a topping. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed learning how to make mango salsa.